Hello wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we we'll bring you back to back update and information as the hot in case this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel what are you waiting for uh, go ahead and subscribe to our channel I see the hot uh, the information where they might table now be say the prime minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile don't bring out five point agenda <laughs> uh, this man no day you know they slack back on. you get this talk where they talk they say if you snooze you lose <laughs> and the man as i they say i'm that man no be man where be said where they snooze at all uh, that man they focus to the business where be saying i ain't carry him come and um uh, should we say that maybe he is the god sent that finally we lead the children of israel into the promised land i you know what happened in the bible where um Moses started the journey with the children of Israel, uh, but unfortunately for Moses, something happened on the way. He was handicapped somehow, and um, finally Joshua was the one who led the children of Israel into the land of the promised land, the Canaan land, a land flowing with milk and honey. Uh, could it be that God is trying to replicate the same thing? Uh, when it comes to the issue that concerns the indigenous people of Biafra, that somehow God has taken away Mazenam, the canon out of the picture, who is the Moses and is trying to use Simon Eber, the prime minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, as the Joshua of this generation in order to lead the children of Biafrans into the promised land. Well, with time, uh, things we keep unfolding uh, because we know that Chukwu Kike Abiyama, who is in heaven, does not sleep. He is always there making sure that things are working accordingly. I think um, what everybody needs to exercise at this point is patient and see as things will be unfolding. Mega carry you go for that information, make you see the five point agenda uh, where we say um, the prime minister of the Biafra. A republic government in exile have uh, issued out so that you can see as the hot make we go as see the hot they say simon epa biafra agitator has revealed a five point agenda for the sit at home in the southeast according to him the two weeks sit at home is non-negotiable <laughs> Uh, the man said the two weeks sit at home say you know they negotiable oh. say the thing goes still hold uh, even though say Mazen and the canoe don't give order, but the man say go still hold. They say speaking in a video shared on his Twitter page on Saturday, July 29th, Eba noted that one of the reasons of the sit at home is to force the government to immediately release their leader, Mazen Nam the Kano, from the Department of the State Service, DSS Custody. His comment comes following a letter purported to be handwritten by Nam the Kano the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra from prison. Disregarding the letter, he insists that the letter is fake and the seat at home will be held until government release its leader. He also revealed that a Biafra self-referendum convention will be held in October 2023 in Finland. I think that's one of the things Simon Eber said. He said that will be the first uh, Biafra self-referendum which is going to be uh, which is going to hold in Finland where all the world is going to watch the Biafrans take their destiny into their, into their own hands. Now, listen to the five-point agenda that he stated. He said that um, the coming two weeks sit at home is non-negotiable and the sit at home uh, will embark on and will embark on in the nearest future have five-point agenda. Number one, the immediate release of Mazen and the Canon from the DSS dungeon. Number two is the preparation for the Biafra self-referendum. We want to prepare the minds of Biafra people for the self-referendum of Biafra, which is coming very soon. And to that effect, we are going to have the Biafra self-referendum first ever convention 2023 in Finland, October. <laughs> Number three, to make sure that we further notify the world about the readiness of the Biafra people to take their own freedom and future into their own hands. So, by sitting at home, 
you create the awareness by sitting at home you crash the economy of nigeria sitting at home is one of the powerful weapons that has been used for the time immemorial and we've come to adopt the sit at home and many other civil disobedience that we follow if they are not going to release Mazen Namdekano after the two weeks. More of civil disobedience is on the way. Now, Mazen Simon, everybody talk this one. You don't shell out. And I rough for rough for the insane number four to demonstrate that Biafra Republic government in exile is in charge and continue to enjoy 99% of the loyalty of the Biafra people in Biafra land. Then number five, he said, to invalidate the illegitimate of those who parade themselves as the elected officials, those people speaking nonsense at the National Assembly to invalidate them. <laughs> this sit at home is what we are using to prove to the world that Biafra people are ready to leave Nigeria. They are ready to exit Nigeria for better future. <laughs> My people, I don't see us in the auto and at the five point agenda. Uh, we the man they talk, we the talk say now the thing we be say um uh, we you go try to achieve in one use this uh, what did they call them the sit at home to achieve as the hot. Now uh, another thing where they happen be say uh Enugu state they say people where be say that they live for Enugu state don't they protest to <laughs> uh, they say they don't they protest say uh, waiting the sub they say traders where we say uh, they did for any good state, don't protest, say they want to resume their business. Make a you go for that information uh, to see what in the happen. They say any good protest, Biafra agitator, or these traders to resume their business. They say, Mazi Simon, eh, but don't tell the Enugu, say may they resume their business uh, because they are governor, where they call Oga Mba. Carry uh, key, lock their shop, say uh, if you obey, it better. You go choose one whether to obey the sit at home or whether to go home to your father's house and, uh, and and sleep or whether to lock your shop. And then they will say, uh, say every Monday, that one don't they use the demo, say whether the governor like it or not, say themselves they go obey the sit at home. They yeah, better see the shop, nine or gamba go carry key, go lock their shop. Say, okay, since you're not saying I sit at home, nine the sweet with a oil. Make una day for a house for one week. Make una see as the paper. <laughs> and I say lock down shop on Tuesday. The people carry placard, carry streak. Enter for road, go the protest. And on that process, nine day, uh, the police officers, the Nigerian forces, nine they send one boy to John Bento where they call a uh, word of Bonaventure. Now so they send the boy to judgment as a stand nine in Ugun, the boy where they call Mood of Bonaventure, that boy. No day again. Uh, I don't understand them um, why these politicians go to act the way that they act. Uh, you go better, make they take things small, small. <laughs> you know, say, you get this as a uh, uh, all my song. You say, I go to do my things small, small. <laughs> so politicians uh, make when they take them small, small. Uh, because um, this uh, freedom of a thing is happening in other nations. Uh, even in Ca the Catalonians did it. Uh, there was when the USSR, if you know history, there was a time when Russia was called the USSR and many people pulled out of Russia, people like Poland, people like Ukraine, uh, other people that pulled out from the USSR those days and today they are in a nation of their own. So I don't think um, that things that concern some um, self-determination should be issue that will be handled with violence. I think it should be people should take care mm, on the IPOB side, let them take care on the government side, let them take care because um, everything now, why why as now, why on why okay, AJ, I rat off at your quandy, Loma con cage, you know, Jagano, we want to go, but he be like, say, Nigerian politicians, some they themselves, not the old woo. And they are own no who if they do not want use Loma walk on top and they they, they chuck and make it die, <laughs> make it bad man. Yeah, for one film where I watch where Kanayo or Kanayo and people act those days, uh, one man where they bring say make it condi ritual. So as they tell them making take oath in own book on be say uh, anytime where him break out from the club saying go die. So the man a sensible man now. Uh, 
They tell I'm making take oath. They say if I disobey the Supreme Lord, make I be me. <laughs> so they they are held that Jukwani, what my man, what is be me? You better talk the right thing now. Now so you talk if you disobey, make him die. Because he don't know say what be me, no disease. So even the gods no go fit to understand be me. <laughs> Wise man, no the two they talk. Meanwhile, now here I go to wind down the curtain down. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel. Please kindly go on and subscribe to our channel, like, share, comment, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever we are posting news, you will be the first to collect it. Thank you for listening. God bless you.